Hello, YouTube. Uh, we're back here doing some network testing and we're sitting here at the top golf. I am currently plugged in charging the vehicle so I can do this video. And I wanted to update you with the current MVNO that I'm using to bring you in this series. Let's get this right. So uh, this is the Mint Mobile. And Mint Mobile is gonna be on the right hand side. And this is week number three of me using Mint Mobile exclusively um, as my daily driver. Uh, put it, putting it up against my T-Mobile line, which Mint Mobile runs on T-Mobile. So, my findings for this week is, I'm, I'm noticing that as you start getting closer and closer towards the cutoff, which I think is like 30 gigs, the service starts restricting down a lot more. I'm seeing buffering on my YouTube videos. So it's when I launch the video, it buffers a little bit in places where I know that I should not buffer due to the fact that, you know, I daily drive my T-Mobile line and all the places I visit are roughly the same. But as you can see, also T-Mobile, like this is my higher paid line for T-Mobile, like Magenta Max. This one has been always in standalone, but Mint Mobile has not. It's been staying in uh, non-standalone uh, NSA the whole time I've been using it. So that's a very interesting um, little tidbit. They're networking them way differently. So uh, I must do more network testing in front of uh, the camera. And I want to find out to what extent. As, uh, last week's video showed that there was uh, some discrepancy between the two and they're starting to separate. So obviously I'm not getting throttled on this line, but the throttling is happening very slowly on the Mint Mobile line as you get higher up. So right now I'm at 28.47 gigs. Now here's the thing, I've been doing the same thing, but apparently because I'm on a different video setting, which is only 1.3 megs. I'm not able to drive home as much data as I normally do, which is very surprising. I thought that my data usage was, would blow this, this line completely apart, but because they throttle you on data on, on video, it prevents you from really going hard. So a, a heavy data user would probably not really see that much difference in um, the usage of using a uh, Mint Mobile line. This is just from my initial findings that I'm seeing. So let's see what the data look, let's see what the session looks like now at this current juncture. I need Google. No, I don't want you. Put you there. Speed test, speed test. Let that finish before I do the next one. So as you can see, T-Mobile is at 512 down and like it's gonna be 90. So T-Mobile is currently in standalone, but its counterpart is currently not. And they're both running on T-Mobile, so T-Mobile is keeping them separate currently at this at this current time. They might be doing it due to the fact that they can manage the, the Mint Mobile a lot better on their LTE than they can on their um, 5G currently. Oh, time will only tell. As you can see, the data access is still the same. There you 
go. Next one is speed test. Do that while I'm looking for the other one. So the speed test access is still good. So data pooling is not an issue. And then do the T-Mobile, T-Mobile line. So see, we're still in standalone and carrier aggregating uh, in uh, two bands of N41. But on this one, it's carrier aggregating N41 plus LTE, but it's in non-standalone plus uh, band 66. So I find that very interesting that they're keeping it, they're literally keeping it on uh, NSA. So, next one. As you can see, the video is still going strong on fast.com. Where's my fast at? Right here. And I'm still being throttled on Mint Mobile at 1.5, probably 1.3 megabits per second. One point four megs. So, like I said, uh, I feel like I am a, a heavy data user, but when you restrict somebody down from, I look at a lot of 1080p, even 4K videos on my video on my phones. But when you restrict somebody down to 1.4, data usage turns totally different, as I've noticed now. So even for a data hog like me, Mint Mobile can be a daily driver uh, if you re if you really want to see see about trying to save money. And you don't really care about the too much about the quality of your videos. You just want to access to the, the videos per se. So. Now we're gonna run imperv side by side. Three, two, one, go. So as you, like you said, once they start running next to each other, you do get deprioed on Mint when you're going directly against somebody who has a higher priority line on T-Mobile. I think that browsing should be neck and neck for both of them. It's when you get to the videos when it's going to drastically change. All right, so here go the video, 360p. As you can see, we are in NSA, T-Mobile is in SA. Seven twenty p. That's this is where it's going to struggle at due to the fact that it's only doing one point four megabits per second and when it hits the 1080p it's really gonna ha have a hard time buffering i did notice that when i was watching my videos i didn't change the settings on youtube and it was buffering a quite a bit when i was doing um video on youtube 
but the video streaming is less, but it's still usable. Um, browsing is roughly the same. Streaming, as you can see, when you have over 100 megabits per second on fast versus 1.4, 1.5, you get a big difference in the video streaming. Uh, 734 megs uh, down, 67 up, 228 down, and 96 up. The, the millisecond pings are roughly within tolerance of each other, so there's not that big, big difference between the two. Last test is going to be direct download. Pull this up. Download over the network in three, two, one, go. All right, so seven, 12 to three, uh, Mint Mobile, 24 to six, Mint Mobile. 36 to 15 Mint Mobile. 52 to 40 Mint Mobile. T-Mobile's coming back 60, 100% T-Mobile to Mint Mobile this time. So T-Mobile was getting ready to lose until they kicked in the last little bit. I guess when they started pulling data at the same time, the T-Mobile line took precedence over the Mint Mobile line at the last moment. So that's probably why we saw the data jump for T-Mobile over Mint Mobile. So as you can see, the, uh, the, the data is still good as long as you don't really mind a little bit of a delay. And that's something I've noticed is the data consumption ability is a little bit delayed on a Mint Mobile. Since I'm so used to using my T-Mobile line on a regular basis, then I noticed the, the the slight delay on my Mint Mobile line. That could come from the fact that uh, I'm encountering a lot of regular T-Mobile users. So that could be it. But more testing is needed. I got one more week. This is week number three of me testing this. I got one more week to go in the month and I want to be able to let people know so uh, like, share, and subscribe to the video. Thank you all for watching and stay tuned for more.